Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering food webs. And food webs are made of many intersecting food chains within an ecosystem. Food chains are very clear cut and are pulled from food webs. Organisms can eat multiple types of prey and there are many connections between organisms within ecosystems. So food chains don't give us the full description or representation we need for all of the organisms in an ecosystem. Food webs do this for us. In our example, we can see organisms from our ecosystem and see they are connected and how energy flows through that ecosystem. Now it may look complex and it definitely is more complex than a food chain, but I'll show you how to break this down and interpret what's going on here. So we start with the producers at the bottom of your screen there. We have the grass and then we have the pond plants and grasses. And remember, producers make their own food by taking energy from the sun and converting it to chemical energy through a process called photosynthesis. So we see our producers there at the bottom of the screen. We'll start there and we're going to follow one food chain and work our way up the different levels. Now the levels of a food chain and food web are called trophic levels. So again, let's pick out one food chain. So we're going to start with one producer and we're going to start with the grass that's in the bottom left hand side of your screen. Now you'll notice there are three arrows going from the grass. So three organisms consume that grass, the mouse, the rabbit, and the grasshopper. Let's follow the arrow over to the grasshopper. So the flow of energy, the grasshopper consumes that grass. So over at the grasshopper, you'll notice two arrows going from the grasshopper. So those organisms eat or consume the grasshopper, the frog and the snake. Let's follow the flow of energy to the snake. So the snake consumes the grasshopper. And from the snake, we see one arrow going from the snake over to the hawk. So the hawk consumes the snake. The way the arrows are pointed is very important. That shows the direction the energy is traveling. So the energy from the snake is traveling to the hawk once the hawk consumes the snake. So our food chain is over on the right hand side of your screen. We started with the grass, that's our producer. Our primary consumer, the grasshopper, consume the grass. Our secondary consumer, the snake, consume the grasshopper and our tertiary consumer, the hawk, consumed the snake. So that specific food chain has four trophic levels. A food chain does not have to have four trophic levels. It can have more, it can have less. So let's do one more example here and we're going to do a food chain with three trophic levels. So let's start with the pond grass um, and plants that are kind of on the bottom middle of your screen there. And we'll notice that the grasshopper, the rabbit, and the mouse all consume that producer. Let's follow the energy flow to the rabbit. And then from the rabbit to the hawk. So the hawk consumes the rabbit. So that food chain has three trophic levels. So again, following the arrows, aka the flow of energy, shows us all of the connections within this food web and the, how the energy is transferred. So there you have it. There are the basics of food webs. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.